Hey guys, how's it going? It is Saturday, December 30th, 2023, and we're back into Railroader. Got a little bit more energy today. Tried to sleep as much as I could. Last night, oof, I was tired. I mean, I, I, sometimes I, it's hard to tell between burnout and tired, but I had one of them. And I gotta determine that this morning. And get right back into it because I want to. <laughs> so, when you want to get back into it, uh, I don't, I don't think it's burnout. So, <clears throat> I know Scott had mentioned a couple days ago. He thought I felt a little tired or something or, or whatever. It's a very relaxing game. It's not one that's going to. Um, so you get towards the end of the day, the end of the real day, and a lot of it is, you know, a lot of it is running, planning. So, you know, so one of the criticisms, well, okay, it becomes like a, a, um, a scenery simulator or something like that. Now, I can go ahead and run the trains myself, which is a possibility. I've been thinking about that. Um, but I'm okay. It's it, <clears throat> it's fine with me. Uh, let's see, what are we at? 12.25 in the afternoon? So I followed this guy down to the Y. I'm trying to calculate how much work I have to do in the afternoon passenger run, so... Um, buh, 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 buh. So let me uh, let me just go up <clears throat> and see how the logging's looking like. Still got a little ways to go. Okay, because once we're at that, then there's more cars to spot for that, and getting getting these guys in there takes priority but also not I don't want to overrun the uh, the passenger run in the afternoon because I like to not just run passenger trains I, I mean I know I can it's uh, that's why I only do two I only need to do two uh, what do we got here well, I thought we had an empty one for a second yeah we're a little ways away okay I was thinking of fast forwarding a little bit but I'll let that go naturally and then at that point that's when I'm gonna have to decide okay are you coming back uh, in the afternoon run or I hope that makes sense because it takes more than the the runs right now for me takes more than like I mean this guy's fast but it still takes uh, a little bit more plus the fact that I have two runs today and I'm gonna it looks like I'm gonna have that as long as that interchange is full so uh, I'm gonna have to get used to it I'll have to find a spot I don't know where I'm gonna find a spot um, <coughs> Wow come on voice morning congestion I guess um okay so yeah what I'll do obviously I can't use the Y right now doesn't matter where I put that I cannot use the Y right now to its full effect so that's that's fine I don't mind going long hood uh, back so let me um, let me go ahead and I'll go ahead and teleport to the dispatch board for one and we will run it from the sky 
So here we are here. Oh, they have a little approach. I never. I was wondering about that. I, I, not like others. They 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 have this. Uh, they have the little line across, but then. And then it says. <clears throat> then it says a Larka branch over here. I'm not too sure why. If that's supposed to have been something that was. Let me see that for a minute. Let's zoom in on that. Get out of here. Oh, there's is there CTC for the Alarka branch here? Or I should take a look at that. Hmm. <clears throat> Apologize for the uh as soon as I started talking, I was just like I had a little bit of food, but haven't been up that long. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Let's look at the milestones here. Yeah, I definitely am not doing that right now. I got too much going on with the Alarka branch. I'm just wondering if it's waiting for the Alarka branch and then it's going to put a line there or something. Because if I, if I understood correctly... Okay, that's the far west. That's one just right of there. That is, yeah, that's the only signaling. Uh, that's the only uh, signal ones that are left. So that's the east. That's the far west, and that's the one coming up. If I keep going, if I keep going to the west, <clears throat> man, oh man, I don't know what's going on with me. Uh, my voice which sucks see cuz they got the walker they got the walker branch here see oh man i'm going to lose my voice it's too early for this okay let's quit yapping about it let's just do it So that'll take me out of here, and then I'm gonna run around my uh, my train back it in to where I need to set it off. Why am I like right there? Oh, I haven't selected the train yet, that's why. Gotta do that. I'm going to go back uh, a tiny bit here, just a bit. I 
No, I don't want to do that. I already got the signal. Just a tiny bit. Let's go uh, back half, and then we'll stop it. Not that it matters. I mean, I'm already got the switch and all. By theory, I'm not supposed to. Uh, I'm not supposed to take the signal again. Yeah, that's good. See, that gives me the coal gap. That's what I want. <coughs> So that'll take me back up to uh, just past the uh, switch here so I can run around. Switching speeds, it, it sounds fairly good because it doesn't uh, like going to notch D. It goes to notch three all of a sudden and back down to zero. <laughs> it doesn't do a uh, fantastic job at being efficient, let's say. But still, like I said, it's not going to be this wild and crazy train simulator. Plus, it's AI. You can run it however you want. You can run it as efficient as you want. I just like to sit back and let it run. If it annoys me enough, I'll just take the controls. <coughs> question is will they give me a signal it all depends on what's in there I guess well I got a block open or what they call a block yep <clears throat>
called for five. <clears throat> Doesn't seem like five to me. Okay, so that's what we want to do there. Not on that anymore. <laughs> okay. Go back to you. I was wondering why I lost it. Shift zero. Control nine. There we go. So yeah, that's the junction site. So let's uh, uh, first of all, we're gonna need a signal to get through Alarca. That's what I want. One thousand four hundred thirty tons shoving. <laughs> One 
what I'm going to do is once he's in place and once I've given it signals to get back to to Bryson, I'm gonna I'm gonna check number two. I don't think number two is going to be uh, there yet. Then I'm going to switch the yard, or at least at least get it sorted to where I want it. Oh boy! Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Are you kidding? I didn't even have a break on here. That's funny. So I've got to get four more in, which I got plenty of room for. I'll go five. Want to get it past the uh, past the siding switch here. Obviously, well, I have to anyways, because that's where it begins. And one of the things that I'm also trying to show is how, how pretty much versatile this is to play single player and be able to get a lot of stuff done. I mean, yeah, you got to go ahead and you got to do this stuff, but I could be jumping in between if I really wanted to multitask. Did I clear the switch? Let me go half. I'll go half. Yeah. But to be able to just, you know, freely look around and I can still fit a couple cars. The operation's already built in to the cake. Okay, man. I think that should do it. Let him settle in where he wants to. Now we'll put some brakes on for sure. I don't think it matters so much a grade, but my right you should have it. I'm gonna go three. Just to be on the safe side. Uh, we got some ballast today. Okay. Okay, so now we want to reverse all the way. Oh, I guess I should put the... Uh I just lost my signals. Yeah, let's. Oh, ain't that cute? <laughs> I got to use them. Get our markers on. Those little things are, are freaking awesome. They really are. Um, okay. So he's already set. He's set to go. Uh-oh. 
See, now, it's, I don't think it's the grass, because it'll freeze on different things, like right there. That's just, who knows what. Believe it or not. It's when you're turn. it could be. Uh, like when you're turning, like somehow I turn that way, so it rapidly turns. And like you said, the sprites or whatever, it could be. It, it very well could be, but I'm not worried about it. So I wanted to close the door here. And yeah, I could turn them down. I'm I'm the type of person when I have something and it runs 99% of the time and it looks good, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take I'll take some frame drops. I'll take I'll take all kinds of things as long as it's, it doesn't become a, a detriment. And for me, it's not a detriment. I don't mind it. Okay, so we're at the junction now. We got to get ourselves back into Bryson, and I'm not switching Bryson with this. I don't think I need to fuel up. I think that's pretty safe to say, but just thought I'd throw that out there. Okay. And I can look at it right now and I can see uh, it selected the, uh, the train is accelerating. It just, and the, the bell tells me it just crossed the Larka Junction. Okay. So, now that I've done that, I can go ahead and let me teleport right back to RTS2. See how it's doing. It's going to be a little bit. I think if I switch, I should be okay. I want to do it. I want to get this done um, as soon as I can. Because if I look at the companies let's take a look at I, I want to avoid a shutdown I don't think the shutdowns affect your momentum or your um, your reputation although they should I think but maybe there's a there's a, a bit of a leeway I don't know um, ba -ba -ba -ba. got so much stuff in here now I don't know where it is okay so yeah we're good we're we're gonna be good for we're good it's good for another four logs of storage um which is just oh i just uh bu -bu -bu -bu, just uh under a fifth of a day um like I've got four hours or something this thing will be we'll, we'll be we'll be down there before then so um, like I said I was thinking about trying to bring in some some more uh, logs out of uh, Bryson but I think I'm okay with this what I may do is adjust use the mainline siding because I never use the mainline siding as I was saying yesterday and um, use the mainline siding to store a few other cars there as opposed to having this one extra car that's outside like this one was already loaded up the day before I didn't get 21 I got 20 so I wasn't even at its max but the storage uh, kept me going alright so that's fine uh, let's go to RTS4 now first of all I shouldn't have gone down this far. I'm going to get it ready. So it's in the drill track. I could bring it down, actually. Oops. Yeah, let's go ahead and bring it down. I 
I imagine it's facing... that's the tender, is it not? Yeah, it looks like it is. Yeah. There we go. Give ourselves the ladder and... Like this to me is what really makes it powerful, the ability to do things inside a yard and let it go to do it. And then you can go multitask other things. I've got a train that's obviously following signals. That's nothing new. We've seen that in, say, a run eight. They, they're, they're good at this. Um, I actually see run eight doing something like this. I, I really do. Um, but, how do I say, like, I mean, I'm trying to think of as far as if they did this, what a big improvement that would be for Run 8. It would be an improvement, but would I still be able to be able to do as much as I do with this, given the limitation and scope of this railroad? Because I don't think they have anything quite like this. At least, you know, not really. They like to tend to go for the big, the big railroads and the uh, even even their smaller region is. Uh, yeah, let me quit yapping. I was just train of thought there for a minute. So we'll get him down to yard speed. He'll know how to slow down, just like you know any other. AI that we have seen. This is the closest thing I've seen to uh, basically them being able to handle the yards themselves. Okay, so we definitely got work to do here. Now, what I want to do is... Ah, there's the diesel right there. Okay. Good enough. What I'll do is I will... Like, he doesn't need to be going that far. But I will throw a switch against it. So he'll come up to, say, over here or something like that. And he'll be fine to sit there momentarily until I get the yard sorted. Then I'll go ahead and... Uh, probably park him here, maybe. I could park him like where I was parking one before. Just bring him in there. I haven't done anything with one yet. Uh, I could send him across the line right now and uh, light power, but like I said, I was tempted to, to run him before. It's just I didn't like the idea of running uh, back backwards or having to turn the train around. Okay, enough yap, and let's get uh, let's get the uh, how we want to do things. So this will be an interesting switch because we've got we've got basically two uh, two sets that came in.
I brought four more cars down down here. Uh, the Ela car is currently buried. Of course, I want him on the head end of the uh, the train coming out. How you doing on fuel, buddy? Yeah. I think you'll last this switch. Just have to keep an eye on him. Um, yeah, I was in the uh, I was in the drill track. So let's go ahead and And this, for me, actually has made me enjoy switching again. When you're when you're running and you're you have to deal with the throttle, it, it gets tiring. This is relaxing. This is like okay, I'm the conductor. Now, if you're 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 an, if you're an engineer, and I thought I honestly I thought about a lot about this when I was thinking, uh, you know, different ideas as far as developing uh, an RTS type. Uh, simulator. I thought a lot about that. I thought, okay, well, if all these things are able to run themselves, and you decided to be the role of the engineer, these poor guys, they, they just go back and forth, back and forth. They take their instructions, they just do their job. I mean, they get paid well. But man, that's got to be boring after a while. This, I can just, I can see it. I can see different cars. I get, I get to see different reporting marks come in. It's it's really uh, cool. And nothing stands out like uh, that, uh, you know, stupid stuff that I can see anyways. What I, what I see as weak is the, the train simulation aspect. But it's not bad. It it handle it it does a really good job I find with wake or wake it does a real uh, good job with weight kicking is awesome in this uh, okay so we want freight house so freight house we want to put down here on this one. Wish this had a bowl though where it would just slow down. I do miss that, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, let me uh, let me try kicking it this way for a bit and see. Fifty one's got a switch lined against us. Where is he here? Yeah, in here. I can't see him down there. Is that him there? <laughs> Man! That didn't take him long. Yeah, he can sit there. Go have a coffee. Um, so I'm going to try... Try obviously bottling up the air, but let's. Uh, do I really want to go five? I don't need to go five here. Let's go ahead and ride it. We want something that I can run into.
I didn't throw that switch. I thought I did. Oh, is that damn color again throwing me off? I said stop, didn't I? What's this next one? I'll keep an eye on him. Yeah, I better keep an eye on him. This is where multiplayer would come into play. Oh, wrong side. Where's my brake wheel? <laughs> there you are. So let me, uh, yeah, let me clean up that, kind of give an idea of uh, what we have here. So this is another way, because I'm, I'm not sure, normally I have one block, but now you get two. This is something that you might see as an option coming up too, is that they're not going to be blocked like that, so it's going to require a little bit more. Um, so you go to freight. What's the passengers like right now? Me, no biggie. Um, so that's that little app yeah, Appalachian hardwoods, and then you get all these guys for Bryson. that are coming out. So you get T for that. You can sort by destination. And what that does is allow you to see, for example, like the uh, for the freight house. So we had two for the freight house. I could have I could have broken right after the um, after the uh, uh, thing came in. Yeah. Got one for Eli. I knew that. So Appalachian Hardwoods. I need room for at least six. I could, in theory, block it here. They're gonna be the they're gonna be the biggest one. And then all the cars that are coming in, but uh And I could take it off the switch list too, if I if I want to. I know that the switch list isn't complete. But let me uh Appalachian Hardwoods, we got like six, so I'm gonna put it down here. Give it a little bit of room, maybe. Actually, let me put it. Let me put it right there. Since it's got the most.
So these ones we want to set up. A certain amount of space. We want it because there's going to be six that are going to be plopped here. This one. Nope. I'm looking at the. I'm, I'm looking at the. Uh, I'm looking at the color again. It's throwing me because I'm thinking that's green. That thing is gonna throw me like crazy. Okay. What's the next one? Bryson Creek. Okay. confident it'll go down there. If not, I'll help it later. Uh, Bryson Lumber Coal and Supply. There's only two. So I'll plop it down this one. Standard oil should have been down that one actually. Yeah, maybe I'll put Brazen down that one. How you doing, buddy? I think he's had enough. I don't mind running back and forth because obviously there'd be more than just me running around, so. All right. And kicking is actually a lot of fun. Bit of an art. Is that a ladder? What is that? 
Oh, I guess we can do it that way. Sure. I think I gave myself a... Yeah. Oh boy, this one's got some, one's got some move to it, there we go. Alright, so now, we gotta hook up to the, uh, not standard oil, not freight house, where is it? Is that you there? Yes it is, okay. Appalachian hardwoods. So this one we want to we want to be careful. So we want to we want to keep it at five. Oh, don't want that. That'll work. Um. Yeah. Oh, good. I got a brake wheel too. Beautiful. So I'm only going to set it to five. Because I don't want it to couple more than five miles an hour. best thing about it is because I've locked it off it's not going to send any air down that's the key so we're gonna come down here get as far as we need to oops Definitely clear the switch. If it doesn't connect, then that's okay. We'll connect it anyways. If it does, if it doesn't, it's okay. So, I'm going to let that go. I feel confident enough it's not going to damage anything. Let's check two out. Okay, we're at two now with each. Oh! <laughs> Perfect timing. Wow, that was that was something. Oh, pardon me for a second. I have to get up and clear my sinuses. Much better. I can breathe again. 
so just like that we've we've got we've got the cars all sorted now into the places that are most efficient um, but now we got to take care of business here now this can be, this can be AI a fair amount. I like AIing them going up, not so much going down. Because when they're going down, I mean, yeah, I could throw a switch against it. Um, but here I gotta I gotta run around this anyway. So okay, so we're selected to two. Now, I said I was going to do a tutorial as far as... I forget what the hell I said I was going to do a tutorial on. I think it was part of the AI, so... I mean, all this is is uh, a speed control. So I might as well show this now if I haven't shown it already. Or I'm just doing things automatically. Generally speaking, this is the way I operate it. I only go into manual when necessary, or um, it's going to go to the end of the track. It's smart enough not to go past it. When you're in the yard mode, it's a different thing. No, I did it. I think I did a tutorial on the AI. I don't know. I forget which one it was. I think it was. Might have been. No, it wasn't dispatching. Might have been. Quincy will remind me. He was the one to... Uh, I mentioned it to him, and then... I'll check my... I'll check our private messages, too. Because I think that might have been something we chatted about. That scared me for a minute. I had to check because I saw a switch that I didn't like. Let me go down here. I'm going to regret this. Possibly. Eh, no, that's okay. As long as I can get up. As long as I can get up. <laughs> as long as... Ah, you screwed up. You screwed up. I was fine at the other end, I just, I, my visibility was horrible. And all I had to do was just be patient and wait till I got past that switch, but... The crossover threw me because I saw the straight, I think, wait a minute, is that going into the damn uh, end of track? Because if it is, uh, it's got damage. Well, guess what, you're going down to rescue him because we need to get around him. Let me sit on this thing. There we go. All right, fine. No, it was kicking. So, kicking and AI kind of run hand in hand. So, the AI is, if you're used to run eight, is somewhat similar in that it, it knows not to 
go into pass a red signal, it'll obey uh, it'll obey uh, obey uh, speed limits. The only place it gets dangerous AI is when you're trying to use the yard commands because it will trust you. To a certain extent, it may slow down uh, for safety for safety considerations. Where the hell did that thing go? <laughs> I hit the brake. Oh no. Do I got to run away? I mean, it's not, it's, it's not the end of the world, but... <laughs> okay, uh, this thing's going to derail. This thing's going to derail. <laughs> i got to save it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh no. Get up there. Oh geez. Run away! <laughs> uh, where's my mouse? There it is. Oh geez. This ain't good. That's one break. The brake's not on. Oh, yes, it is. Give me that. Give me that side. That's applied. I got two brakes applied. Why didn't this thing stop? Well, let's uh, find out where this thing winds up. I think so far it's maintaining the speed limit, but I don't know. This, this curve will tell me. It is slowing down. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of, was these curves, but... Where am I on the map now? That's awesome. So I'm going to have to use the other side of the Y. Let's uh, let's keep it rolling. Get that over here, map. Oh, sure. Now you want to stop. high I want to be. Did I release it? Release it. Okay. Nice, gentle grade. Well, that was a crazy runaway. Okay.
so what I want to do is I want to get this going down the opposite track at the Y. I hope it's not gaining too much speed. So the point's what matters. All right, the rest I don't care. If it goes past it, that's fine. It can come out. It can come down the main. Here it comes. Ooh, this ain't good. Let me try to regulate it. Ah, this ain't good. We're gonna derail here. I forgot about this. I think we're gonna derail here. We did not derail. Get up here. Well, I'm going into Whittier now. I'm in the siding. I hope... Oh, well, that's good. At least I missed the passenger train. <laughs> Come on. Please. It is slowing down. Ah. These things are horrible to climb up on. Finally. Get. Mm, yeah. It might stop before the next. Uh... Oh, it's going to. <sighs> That's not what I wanted to do. Beautiful. <laughs> Forget I said that. It was planned. Um, not. Well, we don't have to worry about that one. We just have to go get him later. Awesome. <laughs> where the hell am I? Oh, I don't even know where I am now. I'm still way back here. Oh, that was crazy. Oh, uh, why did I take some pictures of it? I should have took a picture of it and said, run away. <laughs> I still could. No! Get that stupid thing out of my way so I can see. Thank you. Yeah, that's perfect. There's a guy like, oops.
that is my screen saw. Beautiful. Go back to your train. There you go. Oh. <laughs> I try not to derail things on purpose. I, I really do. Oh. I set one break, right? And I thought normally that would have stopped and it just kept going. That's what happens when you kick downhill, and that was. It was oh, ill advised. Was not thinking. You do not kick down a 2% grade. And come to think of it, I don't think I've ever tried that. That well, was about 1.5 there, but whatever. I thought it was flat, actually. That was exciting. Well, the good part is now uh, everything is going to be behind the engine, so you don't have to worry about any more of those uh, fiascos. I was... What I was trying to do was I was trying to kick it forward, give it a break, it was going to stop in that little uh, section there. I I didn't even think about it again. Because I thought, yeah, I put a brake on. Everything's cool. It was at a... I thought it was at a slow enough speed, too. I don't know what the speed was when, uh, when it decoupled. Maybe... I'm just not going to try that again. Going uphill... I mean, in theory, you can. But it takes a lot more power. I generally don't do either. <laughs> oh, I love this game. I love this sim. I call it a game sometimes. Yeah. You know. They're all games. That is going to be the title today. That is going to be my clickbait. So yeah, AI, see it, it's, it, it's, it's detecting the car now. So now you can switch order to yard as if you're a conductor and say, okay, five cars. Now, sometimes he'll seem seemingly go through this, but you gotta be quick with it. If he's going too slow, he'll just stop. Like, once you go to yard mode, it will ask for orders. I still think it's about five cars, so I'll hit five again. There's no keep it coming or anything like that. These are, these are the commands you have. Now this is for, this is for local switching. For running a train, it basically does what I'm already doing, except I'm riding it. So if I was to say... Yeah, it really doesn't need a tutorial, I don't think. It's it's pretty straightforward. If I had a flare, which I can do Control F, I can do Control F and click it. I you'll see those, especially with passenger service. I set up flares all over the place, and that allows that allows the passenger trains to just basically do their thing, and they just go. They don't stop at passenger stations, though. So, except with uh, there's a mod out there, but I refuse to uh, download it. 
not until it's not until it's they're officially there. And I, I'm sure it's fine. I just don't want to screw this up. Not early access and not with the um, not with uh, some of the reported issues that there has been with hard crashes and all that other crap. I don't want to give it any anything. And I'm seeing a lot of people trying different things. I've seen pe people uh, set up where the steam blows out like ten times. Yeah, I don't like that. If they like it, great. Have fun. Knock yourself out. So, all you do is, from this point forward, you, you, you put it in the direction you want, you put it in road, and you can. this is your maximum speed. So I can go ahead and set 45. You can see the status, says tra the status below here says track 35. So I'm not doing anything. I'm here along, I'm along for the ride as a conductor. Now some say the fuel efficiency is not the, uh, not the greatest when you do this. Uh, but I find that they operate much more in control. So they... They will make a lot of adjustments, perhaps over adjusting one. So now we're at track 20 miles an hour. So it's it's going to make the adjustments. What's what's cool about this AI, and it, it, in some ways, is what um, makes it a little weaker as a as an AI, say compared to a run eight, is that it over adjusts, as I was saying. So because of the over adjustments, what ends up happening? Hey, buddy. Damn, it just came down. Because of the over adjustments, what will end up happening? You just miss some fun. <laughs> um, you have to watch it on video. It was hilarious. Wherever I am in this recording, what time did I start at? Ten o'clock. Look at around the one hour mark. I'm switching up at the top. Anyways, I'll tell you in a minute. I just want to complete this thought here. So the over adjusting, like right now, it's it, it's it's working good. So it's got a 25 hour limit. I find the steam they they adjust much more smoothly. But I don't know if it's prototypical because I'm not a steam driver. I know with the diesels they will crank it up to all the notch eight, and they'll crank it down to notch zero, and they'll crank it up to eight, and they run much better, or it, it, what seems to be much more prototypical at at uh, lower speeds. So. Oh, okay, screw you. <laughs> I got my sentence on, I was going to talk to you, I was like, get Sorry. lost. Right back. Alright. Get through my little uh, spiel, and it's like, I forgot to bring garbage in. Well, at least you remembered. Not my problem, I'm in the basement. I am just a tenant. I'm a tenant who lives in my basement apartment. So then, see, I can control the speeds. So he'll slow down. He won't get there right away. Like, he won't just, like, jump it or anything like that. So he does it safely enough. I can jump out at 10 safely. Bring it down to five so it slows down even further. Now you can bring it down to zero and stop it. It will stop. It's just I find bringing it as as uh, using it like a conductor is more efficient. But you can run as a passenger train, go full force, and he will go as best as he can within the speed limits. And he will and he will adjust for the speed limits. He he'll know when the speed limits are coming. I've heard uh, they're not the greatest with uh, switches, although I've never had an issue. I've never had an AI train derail. Uh, I've heard that, that can happen. But I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know why. I hear they don't handle the switches, uh, the switch speeds as well. They don't factor them in. 
So what I did there was I went into yard, reverse, five cars. So five cars to a joint, let's say. It will start slowing down. It will stop at five cars. So it just let go of the throttle. It's coasting now. The brakes are clear. Once I get within two, I will say two. Or when he starts hitting the brakes like he is right now. Because I don't want him to stop. I'll hit two one more time. He's at a, he's at a comfortable speed right now. One half a car. If you say half a car too soon, it will stop. Ooh, I was against the bumper. I forgot about that. Don't know when I made the damage, so if I did, I don't think I did. I think it bounced safely. It says 98%. That could have been from before. Who knows? I do need to make minor repairs on the cars. They have a bit of wear and tear, but other than that, everything's fine. Okay. Now, they are working currently on having them clear their own switches and all kinds of other things. Um, why did I lose that? There we go. So I go forward, road, we'll go to the max. I do have a switch against me, though. Which, I, which I'll need to adjust. So he's he's going to just go ahead. Oh, it doesn't recognize. It'll you keep on moving. What's happening is there's a brake on. And it shows you where the handbrake is. So i got to go back to the, uh, the joint. Let me turn that off for a second. I joined them together, but I didn't uh, set the handbrake. Um, is it here? I don't know. No, one beside it. So I gotta go one back. There we go. And they will keep using energy to try to, to try to get moving. The diesels will pull it after with only one brake. Two, they 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 tend to. They sometimes can, but depends on the situation. So, my runaway went that way. They don't show any slower speeds on this section, but there are slower speeds on here. There's some 20 sections. I mean, this 15 right here, but... I don't have to change any of these switches because I will come back up the same way and drop up the same cars that are destined for. The reason why I'm putting the map on is just to familiarize myself. Man, my sinus is today. Allergies, who knows what. I can't believe... Well, that car was probably going a little over 20. You can go a bit over the speed limit, but... Yeah, I heard it, I heard it uh, squealing flange pretty good, so... I was expecting it to be but it never happened. I have derailed a car in this game, uh, switching. Too rough on a kick. But this one, I thought this was going to be a major one. Had I not got control of some of those brakes, it would have been, uh, it would have been fun. So this is the field of view cone. Sometimes if you're sitting in the back, you'll have your field of view cone 
and it'll show further back than the engine. So what I want to do is I want to take the right hand leg Calling for a signal will do me no good. The switch should be already set, considering the uh, the log cards went down it and not smashed right into the passenger train. That would have been uh, catastrophic as well. Here's Emmett. I get to I'll get to show him the story. Did you get your shit done. All right, awesome. Here, I'll get to tell you the story now. So I was doing the log run, and I was up at the top. Yeah. And uh, I was doing my run around at 3, L3. Yeah. And I kicked it. All right. I put one brake on. Yeah. Thinking everything was fine. It did stop it. I came up back. I came back up to, uh, to to think to where I was doing the run around, and the cars were right there. I'm like, oh no! <laughs> I go run down the mountain, and <laughs> this thing's just out of control. Oh, oh shoot! It. Uh, I was able to get the switch to bring it. I didn't mean to go down this way. I was too busy talking. So uh, I'll show you. I'm going to rescue it right now. It's fine. No damage. Just a lot of squeal. I was able to. I was able to get to it. Uh, the one brake was on. It was still on, so it was keeping it somewhat under control, but I think it would have lost control because it just was gaining. So I have a passenger train that stopped at the passenger station. Yeah. Fortunately, uh, the CTC's lined up around it. <laughs> I finally was able to bring it to a safe stop. Uh in the siding uh, towards the other end. That's why the switch was set this way. I was trying to stop before I was too busy yapping. Yeah, it was awesome. I got a picture. I got a picture of my guy standing on the uh, on the. It's great. It's, it's gonna be a good screen capture. Clickbait. I'm gonna call this. Uh, this, this title's gonna be Runaway. <laughs> Just for that. I mean, come on. And you know me, I don't purposely derail trains. No. <laughs> oh, shut up. I've only derailed one car. How have you done? Oh, okay. Well, you damage stuff worse yeah. than me. I mean, I get the minor damage every now and then, but... damage I've ever gotten on like a single incident was like 25%. That's a lot. I know. But I, I wonder if it's capped at 25%. No. No, I can guarantee you because I, I my my derailment was much worse. <laughs> that was bouncing off the bumper and again kicking. Kicking seems to be the uh, the evil. Kicking is evil. But it's so much fun. And it's legal, too. Legal now, too. It was definitely legal back then. You can run on top of the freaking cars. And yeah. Scott was saying that they didn't even have air back then. They would they would manipulate the air. They'd manipulate all... They'd run on top of the, the cars on the train and literally use the, uh, the, the brakes on the yeah. cars. To, to uh, do it. I thought they had air by then, but whatever. He says nope. As far as I understand, the air really started to really come in. Yeah. Well, I got that now, so.
I um at the start of the day and my yard was full. Yeah. I, I had a second run that came I, I had a second um uh interchange run that came in at ten AM. <laughs> and what's crazy about it is he doesn't do the stuff that just left behind, he does everything. Like he'll 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 go back. I had to make a second run. Yeah. Because it's one fifty five in the afternoon, right? I might end up having that uh, this upcoming day. What the uh, an overfill? Yeah. Yeah. I had sixteen hundred tons. And it was able to handle the grade. I got as low as 12 miles an hour on it. On the, uh, around the 2% section there, 2-1. Coming, coming up out of the, uh, the, the, the bridge west of, uh, Bryson. Crazy too because I was doing this in between uh, switching. I, I, I've got I've got the yard sorted with both runs. I've got um, the diesel came back light power with the caboose uh, at Bryson, and uh, I've got all the cars in place for uh, this is, uh, the second uh, round of. Uh... Did I? I don't think I. Oh. I don't think I um, set the coal cars back up. There was a there was two more coal cars that came, but I don't think I sent them. That sucks. That's okay. It won't cost me that much. I'll just miss out on a few bonuses possibly, but I think I left it in the uh, in the runaround siding at the uh, the Y. But I did get my uh, my other stuff in place. Plus, I went to the Went to the mine with my original cars. Alright. I thought there was a time last night I was getting burnt out. But it was just, I was tired. Yeah, that's happened to me in this game. Like, so there's, like there's, 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 well, I played a, I played a lot yesterday. Yeah. Because I played pretty much most of the afternoon. Because I was off of the afternoon, so I played most of that. And then yeah. I played, uh, I played until, uh, around midnight last night. Recorded both of them, too, so. We gotta pay to yes, we do. So this, this is why I want to get this video out, because this will be the only video today. The rest of the time, we'll just spend off camera. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to oversaturate the channel either. It's I like putting stuff out there. Well, but the videos are doing good right now. So. They are. They are. Getting, but getting more subscribers too. Yes I am. Yeah, I appreciate it guys. Keep on subscribing. I won't get the signal here. I got the switch. So. Did you know that you have uh, 1.6 thousand videos? Yeah, no. That's just insane. I've been on for 12 years. Yeah. You average over 100 videos a year. Which is absurd. No, that's about right. Oh, I got a switch against me. I was wondering why, uh, he, that's okay, he'll pop that. Huh? Yeah. That was more focused with... Four box cars? Three. Okay. Does it actually all fit? Uh, yeah, it did. Barely. This was this was a second one that oh, was no, called. I, I had two I had two that were called originally, and then this one was called in the second interchange. Wow. So what happens is they. Um, I still have to switch out Bryson. It's a, one fifty nine. I'm I think I'm going to do it in the afternoon run, but. What the hell. 
<laughs> I just noticed that. I was like, what the hell? There's my Kyrus, uh. Cars. I don't want to. Alrighty. Don't care. I like naming mine. Good for you. Um, what do you think? Ten cars back? Maybe. Uh, twenty. It's more than ten. It's lost more than fifteen. Alright, well, I'll go twenty. I wish there was a fifteen option. That's okay. So I can't tell you the amount of times that would have been useful. Well, you hit ten, and then you hit ten again after five, and... Yeah. Now I did hit 20 there. Sometimes they go a little bit too hard on that. I like how there's weeds in between the tracks. But like not too many. It's fresh oh, air. it's beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. The diesel's the diesel's good, except he, he likes going from notch 0 to notch 8 a lot on the main lines. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm gonna go five out now. But my guy was standing right here, and I took a picture from this angle. Slow down. That's good. All loads so that came back. Like I said, I was I was doing a runaround at three. This was fun trying to get on these stupid things while they're moving too. It's hard enough when I'm yeah. trying to get on them when they're standing still. Yeah, I've had that happen. I've had the runaway happen, but uh, yeah. I've had uh, moving bog cars to stop in the past. <laughs> Big ass log trains. Cool. Yeah, it's twenty one cars. Uh, get in there. Okay, let's, Diesels do make the coolest sounds though at, at low speeds. Yeah. Like when they slow go to slow down. You just gotta hear it. It's cool. I use it for I, 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 I that's my workhorse. That's my mainline workhorse right now. It runs this run. It runs this run and it runs all the way to Alarca. It's gonna run Alarca Junction. It's gonna run Alarca. Yeah. I'll probably get another one eventually. You uh, should be able to run that no, no, I take six diesels to do red marble, from what I understand. Well, I get down to ten miles an hour at two point one percent. You gotta think. How many cars? I had seventeen hundred tons today. You won't be able to do seventeen. Think about where the interchange is, though, and you get all you get all the. I know, but I don't know how that works. I I hear you have to break a lot of uh, pulpwood because of the paper plant. Pulpwood comes from the other side of the map, though. I understand there is there is pulpwood that can come from the other side of the map. There is no pulpwood down that way. Yeah, there's pulpwood at the interchange. I don't think so. I think it's just a paper plant. Well, actually, that interchange right there. There's 
but there's another way to get home. We got plenty of sources for logs. I don't know if there's another sawmill. I don't think there is. Yeah. The only sawmill. Mm -hmm. cars I have in here. Well, that's because, again, like I had a second batch, right? That was this uh, guy doing on... Uh... There you go. Yeah, he's okay for now. Hello? stuck. I get stuck on that seat sometimes. Yeah, 21. They don't all fit, obviously, but I I gotta get it started because... I'm someone who has eight log cards, it's, it's fun. Makes a lot of money. Over four grand. Yeah. I actually might get more to do to do the swap at I, I'm thinking about doing the swap at one instead of three. Huh. Because what happens is I get my train to one and then I'm too busy. By the time I come back, one is already fully loaded. So if I keep uh, cars on the main line, which I never use there, you know, you have the uh, the wraparound track. Yeah. You can I can keep um, what is it? Does it do four or five? I can buy four more cars. S uh, sign them up for one, and they'll and they'll and they'll do that instead of uh, me having to do a, that whole run around at three thing. I can even uh, avoid the run around and just and just uh, go straight in at three. What, what I used to do, I'd go straight in at three. I'd go past the switch and I'd go straight in, which is a shame because then three doesn't get used. But oh well. I'm going to back it in because my engine's not going to make it all the way. Hello? You might hear. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Forward, reverse. I don't have any brakes on. There it goes. Glitch of some sort. Yeah, it's no sense kicking because I'll be sticking out. I don't even need to ride it. It'll just stop at the end. Yeah, sometimes I like to manually get down there, but we'll see. We'll see how much. Uh, it doesn't matter. I gotta swap it anyway. So, but if you look at the, um, I got 8.7 logs. So I knew I had enough storage, but I knew I was getting late in the day that I needed to get logs there. So yeah. far, I've been 100% performance uh, at tier four. Despite sometimes only giving it twenty cars, as long as as long as as long as there's some storage, you're fine. Well, there wasn't. It, it was shut down the one time. Yeah. It got shut down for a good hour. Bet you these guys are ready. As far as I understand it, as long as you're giving them logs, yeah, I don't think they care how much. Possibly not. Because yeah, these I, guys are ready I've too. had it where I've had to give a certain amount of call because I think they're all loaded, which is going to happen again. And they don't have any, they don't have an issue with me. 
it's, as lo- it's just as long as I give both of the public industries public what they won't care. Hmm. either I should have uh, I thought I backed myself up enough to get into there but I guess not let me just see something here oh yeah I'm just barely touching that so I'm not gonna get any more I think that's the maximum nine or whatever the hell it is yeah okay I'm going to stop in about seven minutes here. I just want to get this set up. Bryson Yard is sorted. I haven't sw I haven't switched it, but this will be good enough uh, for me to get on with the afternoon load. My goal was to get those loading, or unloading, I should say, so that I had time in the afternoon to finish it off. So you make about four thousand dollars a day with that, not to count all the uh, sending this in and output. Yeah. You get you get money for dropping us off, money for sending it to the interchange. in there. At 20 I can do it. 21 I can't. Yeah. 
So when I have 21, just that extra one screws me up because usually what I'll do is I'll park it in here. But I can do a, a swap or whatever. But it's just as easy for me to just sit there. Yep. Wait till the afternoon's uh, done and then flip them. Because this part I have, what do I have on this one? Oops, what the hell am I way? Um, there you go. So I got nine, that means I have, uh, I have nine here? Yeah. Does that mean I got 12 unloading? Yeah. That's nice. Cool. Okay, so I've done the uh, more the morning to late morning run because I had that extra interchange, but I'll save it here. Good, good, good point to save it. I don't think I have to save this. I don't think I changed it. So. Okay, guys, uh, that's it for me today. Uh, I'm going to run a few things off camera for the afternoon stuff. Just switching industries. You'll see, see it in other videos. Of course, things will get a little bit repetitive uh, overnight. I will start the third um, installment. Actually, I probably won't do it tonight, but uh, sometime today, maybe. I don't know. But maybe by tomorrow when I'm filming again, we'll... Uh, a recording sorry uh, maybe by maybe by that point then I will be uh, on day 16 and working on uh, phase 3 of the uh, Lark extension but we'll see how it goes anyways that's a for that's it for now guys I'll speak English <laughs> that's it's a fun now anyways have a good one we'll talk to you later